The Hayes County Sheriff's Office says it has identified everyone involved in the August 5th shooting that killed a teenager in Buda. That teenager was 17-year-old Eric Marin. Tonight, his mother speaks to CBS Austin's Monique Lopez about wanting justice for her son. I just told him to get up. I was yelling at him as to get up, Eric. But he was gone. He didn't get up. Wearing green, his favorite color, in a room filled with family and friends from all over, one person is missing. 17-year-old Eric Marin. A memorial in his honor at his aunt's home made his absence painfully final. Eric was the light of his mom's life, and even as a teenage boy, the two were extremely tight. If I was cooking, he would come up to me and he would give me kisses. He would come in my room, kick open my door, and I would jump up, and I would turn around like, what happened? And he would say, I love you. He was never mad at me. He, he was more worried about making me proud. On the evening of Monday, August 5th, that light sadly went out. The Hayes County Sheriff's Office says it responded to a gunshot call in Buda's Shadow Creek neighborhood and found Eric dead from an apparent gunshot wound. His brother and sister were there when he died. He said, you don't want to see him like that, Mom. And I said, yes, I do. That's my baby. And all I got to see was his Jordans. His feet were facing up. I couldn't see his body because grass was too high. Eric, the son of a cosmetologist, always had a hairstyle that only his mom could cut. After his death, his mom would get to give him one last haircut at the funeral home where he now lies. It's heartbreaking. Because <laughs> I would not be able to do it again. I said, Eric, hold me up. Don't let me cry more to hear. And I could hear him say, I got you, mom. I got you. I was able to cut his hair because I felt him with me. The Hayes County Sheriff's Office says while they have identified everyone involved, charges have yet to be filed. For Eric's mother, all she wants now is justice for her baby boy. I don't want them to die. I want them to go to jail and feel it in there. They'll have a lot of time to think. A visitation and memorial services for Eric will take place tomorrow. In Buda, Monique Lopez. CBS Austin News.